In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Excel to create a histogram. So the first step, um, we're going to create some random data using Excel, and this is the function that I'm going to use. So what this is going to do is create um, random um, data following a normal distribution, and with a mean, the mean I'm going to select is 40, and a standard deviation of 2. So there's my first data point and I want to create 50 points, so I'm going to drag this down all the way to 50. Now what we notice is, or what we need to do at this point is to make this data static. So I'm going to select this whole column, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to right click, select Paste Special, and Values. So what I've got now is some static data. It's not going to get regenerated every time I enter a function. Okay, and the next step is to um, determine the number of classes that we want. So number of classes. And as we saw, to do so we take square root of the number of data points. In this case it's 50. This gives us 7.07 .07, and we're going to round up to 8. So we're going to have eight classes. And now we're going to find the width of classes. And to find the width of classes, we begin by ordering our data set. So I'm going to go here, select my column, and now order this column from smallest to largest. So I go up to the top, click on data, and then sort A to Z from smallest to largest and I don't want to expand the selection, I just want to apply this to the column B, and there we go. So the width of classes, it's going to be the largest data point, which is the last one in the column, here we go, minus the smallest, which is the first one, and I want to divide this by the number of classes which is 8. There we go. So the next step is to find the upper class limits. And to get my first upper class limit, what I do is I take the smallest data point and I add to it the width of the class, but I'm going to go slightly higher than the width of the class. I'm going to round this to 1.24622 or two, three. And the reason I do this is to make sure that the classes are large enough to get all of the data points in my data set. And what I'm going to do now is get the second upper class limit and to do so I'm going to add to the first one the width of the class which again is 1.24623. And now with Excel I can just drag this down and I know there's eight classes so here I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which is perfect and we notice that the last value here is slightly larger than my largest data point which is here. So now we're going to construct the histogram. So we go to data here at the top and we select data analysis and histogram. And what we're going to do is firstly get our data. So input range. And now I'm going to go and select my data. and bin range. Now the bin range, I'm going to select my upper class limits. There we go. And I'm going to output this um, frequency distribution table that Excel is going to cr uh, create for me right here. And we're ready. So I click on OK.
And there's my frequency distribution table generated by Excel. So now I want to create a graph. So I'm going to go to insert and column. 2D column graph is good. And I'm going to select my data. So I'm going to select my um, Y values, which is frequency here. So the name is frequency, and the values are right here. I'm going to go back, click on OK, and now I'm going to get my horizontal, or my x-axis values. And here we go. And I'm going to click on OK. So here's my histogram, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this graph um, to make it um, look like a proper histogram. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the gaps in between the bars. So I go here, I right click on one of the bars, and I go to Format Data Series, and I get rid of the gap. What I want to do now is add lines in between the columns. So once again, I'm going to right-click on one of the columns, go to Format Data Series. I'm going to go to Fill, oh, excuse me, Border Color. I want a solid line, and I want the color to be black. And now I want to label my histogram correctly. So first, I'm going to go over here, and I want this form here which allows me to have labels where I want them and the x-axis are upper class limits the y-axis is frequency and the title of the graph So frequency distribution of random data generated by Excel. Now I'm just going to adjust the size here. Find it's a little big. Take this down to 14. And that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to play with the size of the graph. And now if we just zoom out a bit, we get a good picture. So what we have is the frequency distribution of the random data generated by Excel. And this data comes from a normal distribution. So this explains the shape of the distribution, which resembles a bell shape. And um, let's notice that um, the mean of this distribution is 40, which is quite close to the center of the distribution. And also the uh, standard deviation of 2 um, gives the spread of the distribution. If the standard deviation was, was lower, well then the distribution would be more centered around 40. Um, and if the standard deviation were higher, then the distribution would be more spread out and a bit flatter. And if we had more data points, well then the resolution of the distribution could be higher and the shape would be um, closer to a bell shape. So this concludes the presentation on creating histograms using Microsoft Excel.